Hey, what's up? It's Schnell, and welcome to Vilo, Vilo, But today, I want to go over what I've been blasting over the past week. It's Thursday, so I figured, you know, why not? But this has had a hard time finding its way off of my turntable. Mortal Wound, Forms of Unreasoning Fear on Maggot Stomp and MSUO. This crushes the cassette version, like seriously. It's like night and day. So fucking good. Whenever MSUO like puts out a mini LP, they always do an amazing job with the cosmetics, the sound, everything. And Maggot Stomp as well, like, because as you'll see in a second, but Mortal Wound, Forms of Unreasoning Fear, fuck yeah. That EP slash demo, I don't know what they consider it. I consider it an EP at this point in time, but... Also from Maggot Stomp, in association with Sunken Tomb Records, Church of Disgust, Veneration of Filth. Holy shit, this sounds so good. And again, this is one of my kind of favorite, one of, all right, last time I said this, I got into a little bit of trouble just because I didn't you know, use my words properly. This is one of my favorite modern death metal records. Veneration of Filth by Church of Disgust is just that. This is filthy fucking death metal. And I noticed something when people, you know, run their mouths about Maggot Stomp. You do know Maggot Stomp is death metal. You should know exactly what you're getting into with a Maggot Stomp release. And that is mostly, for lack of a better word, in the most convenient terms, knuckle-dragging death metal. I love that platoon sample, but like seriously, if you're a fan of death metal... Get into some Maggot Stomp shit, because it fucking rules. I hate when people are like, oh, it's just hype shit. No, no, no. Trust me. Fucking, this stuff is awesome. Especially on vinyl. But, Church of Disgust, Veneration of Filth, absolutely amazing Texas death metal. Next up, this just arrived yesterday, and this is kind of, I'm, I'm going to do a little unboxing here. Leather Glove, Perpetual Animation. Leather Glove, the debut LP, 30 minutes of experimental and deviant death doom destruction, masterminded by Greg Wilkinson of Earhammer Studios of Oakland, California. Featuring contributions by members of Ghoul, Impaled, Necrot, Engorged, Autopsy, Vastum, and more. I just spit everywhere because this is fucking awesome. On Sentient Ruin Laboratories and Dawnbreed Records. Yo, this is so fucking heavy. 45 RPMs of goddamn madness. And this is, I got the deluxe version. It's just on this crazy fucking color. Sick shit. Sounds great, looks great, but like, mostly fucking sounds absolutely amazing. I have the poster already hung up on my wall, but I'll, I'll, throw in a photo and you can check it out but this is a fucking monster seriously leather glove perpetual animation holy shit so good 
I don't even know where to begin with how good this fucking beast is. And like I was saying, the art is just amazing. Like, fuck yeah. Max Rain killed it with the artwork here. Leather Glove, Perpetual Animation, Sentient Ruin Laboratories, and Dawn Breed Records. I would get on this too because once more people realize how fucking good this is, it's gonna be gone. Next up, hailing from Norway, Goatcraft, Sulfurous Northern Bestiality, fucking evil as shit war metal. This is awesome. Seriously, if you're a fan of like black witchery, yeah, get into this. Goatcraft Sulfurous Northern Bestiality on Iron Bonehead Productions. So fucking good. This is another one I just have been playing constantly because they have a new record coming out. But Crips Unending Degregation on MSUO and Dark Descent Records. I think I have the second press that's, yeah, it's colored. Like splatter, kinda. I love this album. Like, as much as I love, you know, uh, Remnants of Expansion, I'm, I'm a sucker for this record. It's just so fucking good. Awesome Finnish Death Doom. And speaking of Finnish Death... Well, Finnish Death Metal. Thank you to Dennis down in Florida. Yo. Convulse World Without God. Along with the Resuscitation of Evilness demo. Fuck yeah. Like seriously, do I really need to explain this Finnish masterpiece of death metal? Deluxe limited band approved remastered edition of this cult slab of old school Finnish death metal in a massive slipcase with the cult demo resuscitation of evilness on disc two. This is the first time these tracks have ever been cut to vinyl, meaning the demo, not the full length. But this comes on this like really, really sick blue vinyl. So I'll show you the cosmetics real quick. I really love this reissue. Like it's really, really just straight to the fucking point. It sounds great. Again, it looks great. Smart like records when it comes to their reissues of classics, just fucking kill it. But like with the orange label, that looks so rad. Like fuck yeah. And it, that's just, you know, this is a pure classic. It's right up there for me with, like, Demilix, Nespeth, and, like, uh, I don't really want to... I'll just give you a hint. It's either Sentenced or Demigod when it comes to my third favorite Finnish death metal record. But lastly, Philadelphia's Pissgrave. Do I really need to talk about this fucking beast right here? Post-humanist humiliation is absolutely still filthy, fucking, awesome, face-ripping death metal that has some war metal vibes. Imagine if fucking, like, Revenge gave a shit about death metal. Yeah, it's fucking sick. And I love how some of the vocals, like, they'll go from, like, black witchery to, like, just insane gutturals. I, I love Pissgrave, and they're making Philadelphia proud here. And, yeah, post-humanist humiliation still getting played. The Caustic Wound demo, Grinding Terror 2018. This is a fucking masterpiece of grind. And you have C. Lindstrom on vocals, C. Slater on guitar, M. Bauman on guitar, T. Wolf on bass, and C. Moore on drums. Ethan Camp killed it.
with the production on here. Amazing, amazing, crushing grindcore. Members of like Fetid, Mortifernum. I forget who else, but sick shit. And next up, another Sentient Ruin uh, Laboratories release. Miscarriage, Imminent Horror. Amazing, amazing stuff. Just absolutely disgustingly filthy and suffocatingly heavy. Kind of imagine if Pissgrave hung out with Godflesh in a giant swamp. And I, I kind of love that tip of the hat, the carcass with the artwork. Like the collage and whatnot. It's just sick. Especially on the cassette tape. And uh, I can't wait for the vinyl release. I'm not going to mention who's putting it out yet. I'm going to let them do it because... Yeah, I don't know if it's cool to say or not, but the new Tomb Mold uh, Cerulean Salvation demo. I'm hyped to hear the new album, so I've been listening to the two new songs and cannot wait for Planetary Clairvoyance to land, along with Blood Incantations, Hidden History of the Human Race. But lastly, I've been blasting the first KO in demo where gods excarnate so fucking good their new shit is absolutely amazing as well but I've just been blasting this in the meantime so good on extremely rotten productions I would grab a copy of this if you see it it's so fucking good but that's what I've been listening to this week as always thanks for watching you fucking rule my phone's broke, that's why this is set up like this, and I look like I'm in St. Vitus or something, the way my hair's hanging down, but I didn't want it in my face the whole video, so thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hills.